If you're just going to copy your rivals, you can basically guarantee that you will be unlikely to win. It's completely clear the big picture goal is to win Le Mans. I mean, that is the whole point. The problem with working every day is that no one gets a break, you know, your laundry get, doesn't get taken care of, paying your bills and everything else, it all gets to be a problem. I mean, you know, we can't just run at 20 hours a day, seven days a week. We won't worry about making particularly efficient downforce at the rear, we'll just back it right out so it's very low drag and we'll focus on the front of the car to make the majority of the downforce an aerodynamic gain, shall we say, over our rivals. And the whole plan to do a front engine, front wheel drive with rear wheel deployment of the energy recovery system was hatched. Yeah, um, how did we get here? It's actually quite a complicated uh, series of events, but you have nothing to go on. You have to dream up everything, and you don't have an awful long time to sort of get everything just how you want it. So we've got this huge peak of effort that we're having to put in to make sure that we can have a good run at Le Mans. Yeah, you know, the height is more in the body than the, yeah, that, that than the, than the legs. So, I mean, like, with my legs and everything it feels fine and I always drive the wheel close to me anyway so actually even though this feels quite close it's not yeah. a big drama. Green button doesn't do anything, don't worry about it. Okay. That was our old uh, neutral button before we had that whole panel sorted out. Sure, sure. Do I need to worry about any of this? Uh, not right now. A lot of them will be like your, your ERS. I don't know if it's, if it's normal or no, normally yeah, no. I think, I think that they've, they've just got a strategy in there to keep the basic level up, okay. so we don't want to worry about that too okay. much. Yet. So but because the actual, when you pull the paddle, you hear it. Yeah, yeah. When, when you pull the pad, you can hear it for sure. And is it quite, um, uh, I, is it an interesting cue for you mentally? You can tell it's working, right? You can hear that yeah, it's yeah, doing you can, thing. You can feel that it's working, you can feel it's holding you. And uh, as I said to Brandon, there is like a three step of uh, yes, on the deceleration, I know, you know. I know we've got to so, blend these, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we do uh, two laps, Brandon. Okay. Rocket ship deployed.
So, um, golly, do you know what? It's hard to remember how many tests we've been through. And we should view the fact that the car um, is running and that the engine is performing fantastically well. It's done over 8,000 kilometers in one go on the dyno, running a Le Mans duty cycle. You know, these are some really big red letter days. Fantastic result. with this one as it is or within a replacement until we know more about what's going on and what's happened it's very unfortunate oh uh, we've had a lot of dang it moments uh, the aero porpoising issues that we've had have been pretty big and they've caused a suspension failure that we had at cota we've had a lot of problems keeping the energy recovery system working other aspects, you know, they're just new problems and some of them are very primitive problems. I mean, you know, high pressure oil pumps having problems, cleanliness of valves and so on. We started to see the car um, stretch its legs and the drivers got excited and, you know, hey presto, the driver sticks it in the fence just to, just to smack us down. As soon as we become anything like happy with the, the fact that things are going well, we, you know, we get a dose of reality. One of the key things in a game like this, you have to be interested in problems. The car is just showing you all the time all of its weaknesses, and those are the problems that you have to solve. If you don't want to face problems, you're never going to get better. This is just a shakedown, this first time the 21 cars run. So, um, only just been built, nothing existed 10 days ago. So it's um, been a massive effort. And uh, so this is our third car. And uh, this is its first run in traditional Nissan colors. <laughs>
out the pit lane seemed very simple to everyone else but that's basically 10 years of work from me or 18 months of work non-stop for these guys so um, it was a big moment for everyone. So the concept of the car is, is getting there. And just a lot of work to do before the race. And We've got three cars on the grid here, but we're racers. We want to be out that end. So we're proud of the boys of what they got here, but in my heart, it's aching because I want to be out the front end of the grid.
three out there with still a long time to go. at the moment but uh, you know they are uh, doing their job just hope that we're still going when the sun comes up and then anything can happen yeah bring it in nice and easy nice and easy what happened you guys know where it came from I just hope we can finish. You know, right now, I mean, positions don't really mean as much to us than, as the data that we can gain um, by, you know, by completing the whole race. The car's in neutral, it's stuck in third gear. And also, we'll turn over. Get out of the car again, get out of the car. He said he was stuck in third gear, um, but the engine must have died for him to not be able to get it back. And then it caught fire, and then when they tried to tow it, which is really weird, the rear wheels were stuck on, which there shouldn't be anything to stop the rear wheels from holding apart from the brakes, and he didn't have a brake pump, so. Something's gone on, uh, but it's not looking good. Okay. Okay. So close. Uh, yeah, it's experience at Le Mans. It happens once a year, and if you're not there to, to learn from it, then, then you might have to wait another year before you can learn from those mistakes. Running under 300 is fine. Running under 300 is just fine. We have 13 minutes remaining. 13 minutes remaining. You're doing a great job. Just bring it home. Nice and easy. Next lap. Go receive the checkered flag. Next lap. 
Okay, everybody, thank you I know, for the last eight months. I know it was very, very tough, but uh, we saw the finish line. Thank you, buddy. Great job, great job. has just crossed the line after 24 hours of war. Um, we limped home but we got home which is an amazing achievement for everyone. 23 uh, unfortunately with an hour to go uh, expired and 21 heroic effort by Matsuda-san with uh, problems on the car and uh, even trying to run a marshal over to try and get back so everyone tried their very best these guys deserve a medal for everything they've done amazing effort but you know only rewarded with one car coming home so um, yeah, next year, um, next year we need to come back and do more.